So guys, we're going to go clean a nice little apartment. It's going to be an awesome little job. Looking forward to you guys joining us today. Looking forward to you guys getting to understand a little bit more about gray matter chemistry. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. <coughs> if you would like to get some gray matter chemistry of your own, go ahead and click on the link in the description. Looking forward to getting this. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you what we've got going in these little apartments. Just these two little traffic areas. It's a um, lease renewal, so they're not going to be very soiled. They're pretty darn easy. You're going to be hitting and getting them. Um, I got lightning in the hydro force, but really just getting it done. So we're going to go from there and get this going. All right. Grab the hydro force. Of course, we got snow all over the place here. Just killing us today. Got my sprayer set up with lightning set to, I think my meter is set to 12 to one. I only add about a quarter of a cup of lightning at a time. Does not require much on these. It's not a lot of soil. We're rinsing with storm rinse. Just a quick little easy job. Not much to it. Take me longer to set it up than it does to clean them. The LVL, um, or luxury vinyl flooring, will only get done on a move out situation, not on a renewal. So, catch you guys in a second. Okay, getting this one going. I like to keep these little caps on that come with the evolution on my wand. It keeps the ends from getting dented up. This is actually aircraft grade aluminum tubing. It's really cool. Um, and of course, I left my brush glide on. I'm gonna go switch this out. I wish everybody, every wand manufacturer needs to take a note from this. Like, check that out. Come on, guys. Get it together. I'm gonna go grab my other glove, which is the hybrid. Um, my truck does not have the biggest blower. It's a 406, which is kind of a, actually has the plate pro kim on it which makes it pretty darn decent you'll hear all sorts of conversations about blower if you're wondering which way to put a green glide on the words green glide will go on the front ta-da i mean the only thing i wish they would do different is get rid of this bump right there keeps you from touching the baseboards as good as I want, but that's okay. <coughs> Nothing's ever perfect. Get some heat to the wand. Loading the blower right now too. Starting to feel it get warm. Give it a second, let the blower catch up. There we go.
Now there's some guys that like the whole glide. Um, I personally really like this glide, the hybrid. It's for the 40 plus community, apparently. So I'm just, at 44, I guess I'm getting weak. <coughs> And I just realized I left my truck's heat turned down because I was cleaning wool yesterday. That's okay. I may go out and adjust it when I'm done with this room. It's not really required. There's no soil hardly at all in this room, so. So some of you might be wondering what temperature you want to clean wool at. The rule is don't exceed, you know, 130 on average. It's about as high as I feel comfortable with on wool. Um, some people will go to 150. I always keep my stuff, I try to turn it way down before I clean wool. This is not wool. This is a cheap polyester. That wool video may already be out. It may not. <coughs> I don't know. I don't always edit my videos in order. Sorry, guys. Whenever I am cleaning wool, I use our product Silver Solution, which really does a terrific job. Alrighty, we got the heat turned on now. Hopefully this is recording good. I can never tell with this camera just how good it's doing and not doing. But I think we got some pretty good heat now. So. The heat saber, by the way, I like that tool. It's a pretty good add-on. Um, I don't always hook it up, especially when I'm in a hurry. If I got a lot of work to get done. It's a great tool though. Recommend you guys looking into it. I bought it on my own because I didn't want to deal with, uh, deal with people saying, oh, Tim, you're a paid endorsement and blah, 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 blah. Well, it's just a good all around tool. And just because you collaborate with other people does not mean you're a shill or anything silly. You know, our companies don't want to accuse you of that when you do this sort of work. And the fact is, is you're in this for money as a business. You're a business owner, right? So anybody that's looking into getting into the carpet cleaning game, they have to remember they need to have things that profit, give them a profit. Well, who do you expect those companies to contact 
to show their items. It's gonna be guys like me, guys like Mike Paliote, guys like Mark Sager. Doesn't make us sellouts. It makes us your communicators. And there's a lot of stuff that I get sent that I never make a video on because it's just not a good product. And I don't wanna bash people online. That is not the way of helping each other out and making our community better as cleaners. Starting to wrap this one up. Looking good, looking good. Easy peasy, guys. The right chemistry, you don't have to stress over it. Don't have to stress over it at all, guys. So, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my other videos. Order from Gray Matter Chemistry to support the channel and support me and those uh, and what we're trying to do. Join our Facebook group. It's a fun community. It's great for everybody. And as always, guys, just think it through. Oh, and don't be a jerk. If you're not going to think, at least don't be a jerk. And just think it through and take care.